Good morning, and welcome back to the Adventures of Yenril, the Rogue. I, um, first off, apologize for the abrupt ending of our first video. That's what happens when kids show up at your house uninvited. But, uh, hey, what can you do, right? Alright, so yesterday we had character creation, and we talked about, uh, the basics, the very basics. Uh, so today, like yesterday, we were broke. Flag broke, and that's the way you start out. We are going to learn to kill stuff. That is the way you get experience, that and doing quests in this game. So we are going to uh, attempt to go fight some things. Gotta love this lift. All right. We, all right, down to the bottom. Now, before you just run out there and start swinging your little sword or your little dagger, that's things you need to know what it all means. Okay, before you, you can see the mobs, we have us a giant wasp and an orc pawn and some bats. Now, the first thing about mob mobs you need to know is that they're not all the same. We have a bat up in your target window like we talked about yesterday. This is your current target. Um, it is white so it is common white which means that it is if you hit the letter C and look down into your main chat window it will say uh, it regards you indifferently looks like an even fight it's level one same level as you uh, so that's about the lowest thing you can fight at level one uh, the indifferently those are factions and we will explain a lot more of that as we go along but uh, Indifferent means it will not attack you. It will care less about you. So we click on the orc pawn. We'll do the same thing. It is yellow. It says threateningly. That means it will attack you. It will run up and start beating on you. It says it looks like it's a quite a gamble. It's level two. It's a little bit stronger than you. Uh, so you have to do it at your own risk. That's according to your gear, your spells, your ability to fight now since we have basically our rusty you know good old dagger and an old gray tunic we are not going to fight yellows today uh, we are going to stick with stuff that is white until we get there um, There is the trickster. So, we're going to pick us something white. Probably these bats over here. And that's what we're going to go beat up on. Alright. Get close enough to it. Hit your attack button and you will go to swing it over here is your health bar shows that you are in combat with two cross weapons and up here is your health bar boom we just killed it now let me uh, do something real quick so I can take off Auto loot. I'll show you about that later. But this is where we can actually see loot and I can explain loot to you. This is loot is what gets us equipment, gets us coin. That's what the game's about, right? Loot and coin.
the king's guilty. Yay. Well, fun thing. Always something every day. My keyboard looks like it is messing up. That is just always fun and exciting. We are being attacked, but I'm going to look for the guards to dump them off on. That's another thing of combat when you're a low level. It's looking for guards to have them kill the stuff that's attacking you. If you can make it there, you will live. Look ahead of us. The guards. That's what they're there for. I'm going to run to them until I can fix this keyboard and see what the heck's happening. there for a minute. Mm. You know, you gotta love it when your keyboard messes up first thing in the morning. Always fun. All right, let's see if we can make it work. I don't know what's going on with it. Looks like the buttons are on the stick, but hey, we'll make it work anyway. So, one good thing about the Greater Fate Arc is it's a lot of trees. Bad thing about the Greater Fate Arc, lots of trees. And hard to find the mobs since you run up on them. My character's just wanting to spin in a circle. You see that? No idea why it's wanting to do that. Good day. But we're going to make it work anyway. That's what you do. Since we don't have any ranged attacks yet, we have to run up on them. Got us some men. There's health going down. Ours went down a little bit. We had no loot from him. Let's see if we can do anything from John Wick. But you do get experience, and that's an empty. I have an experience split right now, so we can see it on a different tab. If you didn't have it, it would show up in your uh, main chat window when you first start. But uh, I like everything separated. Come on, give us some loot. Show me. Show here we go. Got some loot. All right, so this is your loot window. It will pop up looking like this. It will ask you if you want to leave it on the corpse. If you never want to pick it up, to leave it. And then you have always need and always greed. And that's for when you're in a group. When you're in a group and you want to share the loot. You will put greed or need, and it will roll it for you, and it will pass it out. So since we are not in the group, we just hit loot. It's one to play by itself today. Gotta love that. I'm gonna have to leave and go get a new keyboard. If it ain't one thing, it's another. That's part of life. Adapt and overcome.
with yes. All right, so that's the basics of killing. You run around, stab, stab. If you have spells, use spells. Go. I'm finally getting it to work a little bit. I'm trying to see if I can find one of these mobs that will run. So maybe you can see what happens when a mob gets down into 20% and it runs. Go for the swing little blade. As you gain skill, it will pop up, usually in your combat window. Of course, I have it separated. This is how much damage you're doing. Here's something neat to show people. This is a ground spawn. If I can get my tune to stop, my keyboard. God, I love a keyboard. It's going to mess up with you when you're trying to do something. I'm not moving my keyboard, folks. That is my keyboard moving by itself. God, I love it. But ground spawn. You'll see something that looks odd, different from the ground and the surroundings around you. You click on it with the left button and you get whatever items on the ground. These are evergreen leaves. People like them for trade skills. They're good to sell to higher level players who don't want to come out here and take the time to pick them up. So pick them up, put them in storage for yourself, or you can sell them. All right. what this little wolf's doing. Oh, yeah. Down here in the combat. Oh, you just heard a ding. I don't know if y'all can hear that on y'all's end. But there's the ding. It says, welcome to level two. We open it up. We are now level two. This tells us how much experience we have to go. So, congrats to myself. And we'll look for more things to find. We're going to attempt a yellow. We're going to see how well this works. Now, prime example of what not to do. <laughs> I didn't look at my health bar. My health bar was at half. Right over here in this little segment. And now I'm not even hitting this spot. So I'm going to hit him. And bam, he just we got knocked unconscious. And that is a good thing to show y'all guys that that's what happens when you die. Alright, so right here it says your bind location, or if you get a res. Um, I'm going to pull that off to the side so y'all can see that away from my camera. There you go. And we just get release the bind point in the greater fate arc. Until you hit level 6, you don't lose any experience. Which is always a good thing. See, there's something else laying on the ground. Looks like a little bag. That means a player dropped it. It could be nothing, probably a rusty sword. And again, that keyboard will not let me stop. See what they left on the ground. Fade arc twig. Hmm. No idea what that's for. First time in 20 years I've seen one of those. Yes, I've been playing this game for 20 years. 
and it never gets old. All right. So what I'll do now is look at our little map. Find out where we're at. Go to the lift. Let's mark lift. We can go up and sell something. I'll show you how to sell things. Selling things, buying things, it's all part of the game. It's the way we get our money. Oh, and by the way, with my keyboard acting up, it's going to be fun to go up this lift. Back in the day, back in 99-2000, this was the great lift of death because you would lag because there'd be a couple hundred people in here in this zone. You would fall halfway up and it would kill you. Uh, many, many a deaths off the lift. And look at here. We just happened to come up with the general supply merchant. All right, right click on your merchant. This will show you the goods they are carrying. So the people have sold to them. I explained to you yesterday. If it's got a line, that means there's an unlimited amount. If there's a number, that's how many they have there. You can scroll down and see what they have. What other people have sold. It's a good way to find stuff for quests, too. If you need items or something for like this ring, for instance. You could use a ring that has AC1 and 2 agility at first, second level. If we had the coin. And right over here. Here's your coin. So we're gonna sell some stuff. So we got some bat wings. This tells you how much they sell for right here. Seven copper. Seven copper. We're gonna hit sell. Sell all of them. We now have seven silver. All right, so we're gonna do that. We're gonna keep our bone chips. We're gonna keep our bone chips. I'm gonna show you all a quest later that you can do. Gives you experience with bone chips. We're going to sell off our bat fur. Oh, I forgot to show you something. When you open up your items, it will tell you right here if it's needed for a quest. These wasp wings are used for a quest. I'll have to look up the quest. And um, I will tell you all now the best place to go is Alakazam. It is powered by fandom. And it has everything you need to know about every quest. Or a quest so got the wasp wing I'm gonna keep those because trade skill items are always needed see this item is used as trade skill this item is used as trade skill however we're gonna sell the pelts we're gonna see if the stick now the thing we picked up that fade our twig sells for zero copper which means it's no good to anybody. Must be for a quest. I do not know what it is. It's not marked as a quest. So that's going to bring us to another point. I'm showing you how to destroy things. Okay, this is our food and water. I forgot to tell you about that yesterday. Your food and water. You need food and water to replenish. Or your mana. Or your, uh, which we do not have. It would be represented by a blue bar. Or your endurance, which what we have is a yellow bar, will not um, replenish without food and water. And if you click on the thing, it says bread cakes, no trade, of course. Told you what no trade was. It says it's a hearty meal. It means it lasts a while. Drink, it says a refreshing drink. It means it'll last a while. But if you click on, let's see if we can just guys sell me any food at all. Let's see, let's pop in up here. You can, you can look for just for rations. Oh, there we go. So the difference between a regular ration, this is a meal, and an iron ration is a hearty meal. Both of them work. One lasts longer than the other, but you see the difference. The iron rations sell for two gold. 
three silver. So we got uh, McDonald's uh, dollar menu or you know, a bougie, um, you know, bougie food over here. I'm cheap. All right, so we don't need any because we ain't got enough because we only have one gold. We couldn't even buy an iron ration. That is how broke we are. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and sell the wasp wings too. We're going to need a little bit more coin. All right. Now, these big cities are hard to navigate. And the one reason I wanted to show you to keep one trade skill item was on your main bar when you first start, you'll have a button called Find. You're going to click Find. Find is going to show you everything in the zone that you can run to. I'm all opened up so that I can see really good. Everything from down here, it's marked destinations you can use. If you unclick it, it will show you things that are not pertaining to you. We are rogue. It'll show us the ranger guild master, the warrior guild master. And we really don't have no need for those guys unless we're doing a quest that specifically needs those guys. Um... But it'll show you all the trade skill vendors. Alchemy, fletching, general supply, jewel crafting, uh, the parcels, plate armor, research supply, smithing, all these things. And it'll tell you what zones we can go from here. And we are not going anywhere just yet. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to go to the banker. So you click on the banker for auto find. And you see that little yellow, clear, translucent line? We can follow it, and it will help you navigate the city. Unless your keyboard messes up and throws you off the ground like that, and you die. New keyboard, people. New keyboard. Remember I told you I was cheap? Well, that's what I get for buying a cheap keyboard. I will have to go remedy that shortly let's see how long have we been on today 22 minutes so far I cannot play like this so what we'll have to do here is we're going to go back up into the city so it's a safe place to camp gonna call for our lift when I first started playing we did not know about that switch right there so you'd stand here for 10 15 minutes wondering how does the lift go up and down and people nowadays be like yeah you didn't know that well you gotta remember this was one of the first massive mmos all the stuff you see in other mmos i guarantee you there's about a 75 percent chance it came from this so we didn't know anything about that nothing about that all right so what we're going to do here is we're going to cut it short right here. And old uh, Grain Game Dad is going to go get a new keyboard before he gets mad and you see an old man nerd rage. It's not a fun thing to watch. But we're going to camp out. So you go to your camp button. It'll tell you you got 30 seconds to do it. And, uh,. We're going to go figure out why my keyboard is messing up. And I hope it's just the fact that it's cheap and not something else wrong. But, uh, you know, it will allow me to go feed my stomach too. But I will get back on in a little while. And uh, hopefully the keyboard will probably be fixed and we can play for a little while. And get some experience, get some levels. All right, so... Camped out, I wanted to show you how it camps out. See your character selection screen. That means your tune is safe. Um, it was, everything's been saved, of course. But always remember to log out in a safe spot. Because if you don't, you pop back in. There could be mobs. Um, all, people always wonder why we call them mobs. 